Getting organic traffic from Google should always be your aim. High-quality targeted traffic from Google will provide you with the best results. Every website owner wants traffic from Google, but they don't do what is required to make their website more Google-friendly. If your website and its content are not optimized for Google, then you have very little chance of ranking on the first page of the search results for keywords related to your niche. You are leaving a lot of potential leads and sales on the table. By using the nine ways in this powerful report, you can make your website a lot more Google-friendly and start to get more exposure in the search engine. Google is the largest website in the world by far, and you need to do everything that you can to get traffic from it. So please read this short guide from beginning to end and implement what you learn. All of the methods here are proven to work and will definitely help you to get more Google traffic. So, now it is over to you. There is nothing more important than keyword research if you want to make your website more Google-friendly. You need to know what search terms Google users are entering and then use this knowledge to get your website content in front of them. If you are unfamiliar with keywords, then the most simple explanation is the terms people use to find stuff in Google. Let's say that your website is about training dogs to behave better. What kind of keywords will Google users enter for this kind of information? Here are some ideas. How to train a dog. Dog training. Ways to train a dog. How to train my dog to stop barking. Train my dog to sit. Best dog training websites. These are just examples. The dog training niche is huge, and there are probably thousands of keywords that you can target. Google has a free tool that will help you to identify the keyword terms that their users enter. It is called the Google Keyword Planner. To use the Google Keyword Planner you will need a free Google account, like a Gmail email address. You will also require a free Google Ads account, don't worry you are not going to spend any money. The Google Keyword Planner will not only tell you what keywords people are using, it will also tell you the average search volume per month for the countries that you are interested in. Dog training is something that there is good demand for all across the world, so you can choose all locations for your data. Start by entering in seed keywords to discover more keywords. So you can enter dog training, how to train a dog, and anything else that makes sense. The Google Keyword Planner will then return results that you can download as either a CSV file to use with an application like MS Excel or a Google Sheet. Go through all of the keywords in your spreadsheet and choose the ones that make the most sense for your website. You are going to use these keywords as the basis of content that you will create and publish. So you could write a post about how to train a dog for example. It is always a good idea to use related keywords in your content. So look for keywords that have a direct relationship with the main keyword that you choose for your content. The reason for this is that you can end up ranking high in Google for the related keywords as well as your main keywords. Even more great Google traffic. Keyword competition is something that you need to know about. Some keywords are easy to rank on the first page of Google for and others are extremely difficult. If your website is about dogs then forget about trying to rank on the first page of Google for the keyword dogs. You will never achieve this. You can check the competition of keywords using Ubersuggest from Neil Patel. With a free membership you can check a small number of keywords at a time. If you go for a paid membership then you can check a lot more. Another good service for checking keyword competition is rfs.com, but this is pretty expensive each month. There are freelancers on websites like fiverr.com that will check the competitiveness of your keywords for a few bucks. They have access to the expensive programs and will do this on a one-off basis for you. In fact, you can outsource the entire task of keyword research to an expert if you want to. Find people that have a lot of know-how and experience to do this for you. Here are some places you can look for keyword research experts. Fiverr.com, WarriorForum.com, PeoplePerHour.com, Upwork.com. 
Just get some good keyword research done so that you can model your website content around the keywords that you identify. Google prefers web content that is optimized for keywords so give them what they want. Google is a sophisticated machine, but it is only a machine. It cannot think like human beings do. To find new websites and web content, Google uses bots to scour the internet. So you want to make sure that you optimize all of your web pages for the Google bot to crawl all over them. Although Google is pretty clever, it is going to need your help to understand what your web pages are all about. You can do that by ensuring that you optimize all of your pages for Google. You have already made a good start by using the keywords that you found in your content. But you need to do more than this. The two most important parts of any web page are 1. The title, 2. The description. When you do a Google search, it will return results including both of these elements. Your page title will appear at the top in larger font and in blue color. Underneath your page title will be your description, meta description, which Google users will read to assess whether it is worth visiting your page or not. So you need to include the main keyword for each web page in the title of your posts. If you use a platform like WordPress, highly recommended, for your website, then it will use the page title for your URL, for example, yourzite.com slash how hyphen to hyphen train hyphen a hyphen dog. You can use a plugin for your WordPress website called All-in-One SEO. With this, you can add your meta description, which again needs to contain your main keyword near the beginning. When you are writing titles and descriptions for your pages, think about the Google user. You want to entice them to click so you could use a title, like how to rein your dog in easy steps for example. Just get your keyword in there. Do the same for the meta description. If you don't write a meta description, then Google will just choose some words from your text that it considers appropriate. Quite often it chooses the wrong text so do not rely on this. Write your own description with your main keyword in it. You need to include your main keyword and related keywords in the body text of your content too. Use the H2 header tag and H3 if you want to break up your content and add keywords into the tags. The Googlebot will examine all of the H tags that are in your content. Add your main keyword at the start of your content, somewhere in the middle and near to the end. You can use bold, italics or underline as well if you want to. Don't go crazy with repeating your keywords over and over otherwise Google may see this as keyword stuffing and penalize you for this. When you use images or video files in your pages, which you definitely should do, optimize these as well. Use the alt tag for images and add your main keyword. Use the keyword in the naming of your image e.g. how to train your dog.jpg. Add your keyword to video captions as well. There is nothing more annoying to a Google user than a slow website. They have a lot of choice and most will go elsewhere to get the information that they need if your web pages take ages to load. We live in an instant gratification world and your website needs to keep up with this. If you have a slow website, Google will punish you for this. There could be several reasons why your web pages are slow. Here are some of the most common ones, slow web hosting. Too many images. Inefficient web code. Too many advertisements. It is very tempting to add high resolution images to your web pages. However, if you don't optimize them, it is going to take a long time for your page to load even if you are hosted on the fastest servers. Some web hosts just offer superior web page loading performance than others do. If you host your website with a host that has super fast servers with SSD storage, then your pages are going to load faster than using a host that deploys older technology. So check the load speed of some of your pages using the free page speed insights tool from Google. All you have to do is to enter in a URL for one of your pages, and then you will get a page load score. Test pages that have few or no images, such as a privacy page, so that you can assess whether it is a slow web hosting problem. If you find that your current web host is not providing you with the performance that you need then find another one. These days there are many web hosts that will provide lightning fast hosting for a reasonable price. 
Read reviews online before making your decision. When you use the Page Insights tool from Google, it will provide suggestions to you of how you can improve page speed. Sometimes these are quite technical solutions, so if you need help then find someone that understands. There are many freelancers on Fiverr that can help you with this. Google never wants to send its users to web pages that it feels are not secure. Most browsers now have warning messages that a web page or site is unsafe, and this is enough to put most people off visiting. You do not want any of your web pages to bring up such a message in a browser. The easiest solution here is to install a SSL, Secure Socket Layer, certificate on your website. This provides a level of encryption for safety. Some web hosting companies provide SSL certificates for free now, or you may have to pay for this. Whatever the situation, get an SSL certificate for your site. Google is now penalizing those websites that do not have SSL certificates. They will always rank a website that has an SSL certificate higher than one that doesn't have one. So you need to take action and get this sorted out for your website today. More people are using mobile devices to access Google and the internet these days than desktop or laptop computers. So your website needs to be responsive to smartphone and tablet devices as well as computers. A smartphone user does not want to have to scroll horizontally to see what your website is all about. Vertical scrolling is fine and even expected, but horizontal scrolling is very annoying for mobile users and you need to avoid this. If you are a WordPress user, then there are thousands of responsive themes that you can use these days. These themes will automatically adjust your website for the device that is being used. It is an automatic process, so you do not need to worry about anything. Do you have an old HTML-based website? If you do then consider migrating it to WordPress. It is not easy changing an HTML site to be mobile-friendly as well as computer-friendly, but it is possible. If you don't have the skills to do this then find a good web designer. Google hates their mobile users having a bad experience with websites. So if your website isn't responsive to a mobile device don't expect it to get a high ranking in the search results. This is a very easy fix so make sure that you do fix it. There is nothing Google likes more than fresh and unique content. The more the merrier. So you need to have a plan to create a lot of high quality content and publish this regularly. If you do not like writing or don't have the time then find a good writer to help you with this. Make sure that all of your content is SEO optimized of course. How regularly should you publish new content? The only answer to this is as often as you can. You are not just doing this for Google, you need to think about your visitors as well. If you publish new content every day then be consistent with this. The same goes for if you publish every week. Quality is much more important than quantity. It is better to publish one piece of high quality content each week than several pieces of mediocre or poor quality content. Making your visitors happy is more important than publishing more often. Google wants you to give your visitors what they want. If you always provide high quality content, it will help to increase brand awareness. You might start to see Google users adding your domain name to their search to see if you have any content related to what they are looking for. This means that you have arrived. Always make your content interesting by adding images, videos, infographics, graphs and anything else that will provide more quality for your visitors. Google measures the bounce rate of pages and yours will be low if you provide lots of value. This will help you be noticed more in Google as well. Google have tools that you can use for free to make them more aware of your website. We recommend that you add your website to the Google Search Console. All you need is a free Google account to do this. You will need to verify that you own your website using an easy process. The Google Search Console will track important elements of your website, so you need to add it. Another free service that you need to take advantage of is Google Analytics. This is a great tool for tracking your website traffic, bounce rate and more. If you operate a local business then take advantage of Google My Business and submit your site to Google Maps. 
Google will send you a verification code through the mail when you make an application for Google My Business. You can then add this code to your profile. Take time out to optimize your Google My Business listing. It is in your interest to complete all parts of your listing. Google will see this as you being totally honest with them and will help you buy. Giving your business more exposure. A backlink is a link from another website. In previous years, Google saw this as a very important factor as it considered each backlink as a vote for your website. They do not place the same emphasis on backlinks today, but they are still an important factor for ranking high in Google. These days it is all about the quality of the backlinks that your website has rather than the quantity. Years ago, you could throw thousands of low-quality backlinks created by software at your site, and it had a good chance of appearing on the first page. It doesn't work like that anymore. One of the easiest things that you can do is to share your website content on social media platforms like Facebook and LinkedIn. Google sees most social media platforms as high authority and will credit you for this. You can find high authority blogs in your niche and create some guest posts for them. Most website owners are looking for new content all the time as they know how important this is in Google's eyes and it keeps their visitors happy. Your guest post will need to pass strict quality rules, but once it is accepted you can usually add a link back to your website. This is great for SEO and should help with your Google rankings. Most of the quality blogs have rules about guest posts so be sure to read these and comply with them. The more that the content on your website is shared, the more Google will take notice. Although Google doesn't index posts on Facebook for example, it doesn't mean that it is unaware of the posts on the social platform that relate to your website. People will always want to share content that they enjoy so be sure to include social sharing buttons on your website. This makes it easy for your visitors to add your content to their social profiles. Content that really does a good job answering common problems is always going to be popular so find out what issues the people in your niche have and then create content that has the solution. List-based content is also very popular and shareable such as 10 ways you can drive more traffic to your website and 5 ways to avoid paying too much tax. Think about the content that you like to read online. What is special about it? How is it structured? Does it answer all of your questions? You can also look on social media for the most. Shared content and work out why it is so popular. We have provided you with 9 proven ways to make your website more Google-friendly in this special report. Getting noticed by Google is essential for the best kind of visitor traffic available. So take action with all of these steps to make your website and your content more Google-friendly. Once you start ranking in Google on page 1 for different keywords the possibilities are endless. Most website owners do not bother to go the extra mile so you can be a step ahead of your competitors by giving Google what it wants.